Permanent Secretary for Sports, Ambassador Karimi Kaberia, on Thursday led the delegation for the Parliamentary Committee for Culture and Sports in inspecting the Kasarani Sports Complex and the Nyayo Stadium. Whereas Kasarani has had extensive renovations for the World Under-18 Championships in 2017, along with further upgrades for the aborted Chan 2018 hosting and the international friendly between Goruma here and Hull City, Nyayo Stadium still needs major work after being virtually torn down. We really, as a committee, feel unhappy because uh, the government did not really honour the funding to be able to complete these stadiums. Uh, in time. So we, we are requesting uh, whatever uh, money is available which can be able to be channeled to this study uh, should be released immediately. Now the pace of progress is dependent on the funds and there's a deficit of at least 120 million shillings for the ongoing renovation of Nyaya Stadium. Once the budget is approved and released, bearing in mind that the government's new financial year begins next month, then the contractor assured the committee that work would be completed within two months. We have uh, about 500 million in development and uh, about 150 dedicated to this stadium already approved with the help of uh, Parliament and we appreciate that. And I think uh, in, in the new financial year we will not have as uh, serious a challenge as we had in the past. In the meantime, work on the football pitch at Kasarani continues, with no games or sports allowed on the grounds until the firm contractor is satisfied that it is ready for use. Uh, once it is ready, we have uh, now a new system. I was just explaining to the chairman and the committee that uh, we have developed rules of engagement and standard operating procedures here, so that anybody coming to the stadium Anybody using the stadium has to sign an agreement and they will be under uh, supervision. And the delay in completion of the two stadiums in the capital is bound to result in continued strain of sporting infrastructure in the country that's played havoc, more so in the Kenyan Premier League. As you can see, uh, this is the state of Nyaya Stadium uh, following the country withdrawing from hosting the Chan Championships. The project has stalled for many months. However, the Parliamentary Committee has promised that work will resume and that they'll try and get the funds released as soon as possible. Sean Carter Villas, uh, NTV at the Nyaya National Stadium.